All right, my name of course is PC Pritchard and I'm here today to make a very special public announcement. Now this is only for those people not subscribed to this channel. As of next week, it will be a felony not to be subscribed to this channel. If you watch this and I find out that you're not subscribed, you'll be issued an on-the-spot fine, £4.68. If you do not have £4.68, you'll be given jail time. That jail time runs up to seven years behind bars. Now, now a few of you out there, you probably enjoy that, wouldn't you? You do, little buggers. Most of you, though, won't want that jail time. So why run the risk? Just hit that subscribe button. Now, if you also want to stay abreast of all those live streams that Chris does, I tell you what, they're bloody funny they are. Hit that notification bell, all right? My job here is done. Do I get to introduce him now? I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Please welcome your host of the Chris Pritchard Cycling News Show. It's, of course, Chris Pritchard. I've always wanted to do that. Always. Oof, oof. There you go. That's a strong arm of the law, isn't it? Oof. I bet he has got some strong arms as well. That sexy little PC bridge. Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's Chris Pritchard Cycling News Show. It's Tuesday. I don't normally put a video out here, but I didn't put one out yesterday because I did... If you saw the stream, you'll know what happened. But anyway, let's get straight into the news. And obviously, over the weekend, were a lot of national titles that were up for grabs in the cyclocross scene. Let's get a roundup of who won what. Now, before we get into the big three cyclocross national titles, for me anyway, the Dutch, the Belgian, and the British, let's take a look at the rest of Europe and see who took home those national titles. Roll it, Pritch. Oh, thanks, Pritch. Right, over in France, Marianne Norbe Ribeiro, excuse the pronunciations on any of these names that I've not come across before. She took the women's title over in France and the men's was won by Clement Venturini. In Italy, it was Ava Lechner for the ladies taking victory and in the men's, Jacob Dorigino. Dorigino, Dorigino, that'll do. Over in Spain, didn't even realize that any Spanish riders took part in cyclocross. Anyway, Lucia Gonzalez Blanco took the women's and over in the men's, Felipe Orts Loret took the men's victory. Over in Switzerland, Zina Barhumi took the women's victory. And in the men's, Lars Forster. Over in Deutschland, Elizabeth Brandau took victory in the women's. And in the men's, it was Marcel Meisen who took the victory and the national title. Over in the Czech Republic, this is going to be fun. Pavla Havlikova, easy, took victory in the women's. And over in the men's, Emil Hekelek, Hek, 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 Hekel, Hek, Hek, Hek. Hekel, Hekela, Hekela, Hekel, Hekele, Hekla, He, Ha, Hekel, Hekele, Hekla, Hek. He took the victory in the men's. Over in Oiland, Maria Larkin took victory in the women's. And in the men's, it was none other than David Conroy. Right. Elite men's result over in Britain. As you'd expect, Tom Pidcock took the victory from newly signed... Alperson Phoenix rider Ben Tullett. Over in the ladies, Harriet Harnden, 19 years old. She took the victory in the elite women's race. Over in the Netherlands, as you would expect, it was an Alperson Phoenix whitewash again, taking victory in both the men's. Machi van der Poel and Selena Del Carmen Alvarado took the women's. In the elite women's Belgian race, Sana Kant took victory over there. And in the men's, a lot of these riders decided to forgo the previous week's cycle cross races in preparation for this one and the winner Lawrence Sweck. But the cycle cross nationals weren't the only national titles up for grabs. Down in Australia was the road racing national championships. Amanda Spratt took victory in the women's and over in the men's Cameron Meyer took the national title. So they'll both be wearing those green, gold and white stripe, green and gold stripes on a white background for the next year. Yeah, yeah, Australian Road Race Title Championships, Cyclocross National Championships, they're all good and well, but there was only one World Championship up for grabs at the weekend, and that was for the Mountain Bike Chariot Race. Yeah, you heard me right, it's a World Championship event, and it takes place in Wales, in the smallest town in Britain. Now, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but me, Cam, and Brian all took part in this event. Now, 
now if you want to see the results if you want to see i don't know if we were crowned world champions then you'll have to wait till tomorrow and check out cameron jeffers's channel but all i'm saying is expect to change in that instagram bio tomorrow next up and chris Froome. is he on a training camp is he not on a training camp is he just trolling us or what because he posted this picture on instagram the caption read on training camp or maybe not rolling eyes emoji laughing crying emoji no really i am big teeth smile laughing emoji so according to that chris Froome is on a training camp but i bet chris Froome didn't know that the chris pritchard cycling new show has in-depth analysis on photos. We can take a look at this photo now and we've got some breaking news. It was in his back garden the whole time. Look at that. And if you actually rub his face out, what you'll find is that is actually Geraint Thomas. Unbelievable. I just don't know what to believe anymore. Next up, and if you're feeling a little bit squeamish, if you're eating meatballs, stop. This isn't a nice story. However, Chris Hamilton, rider for Team Somewhere, has had to pull out of the Tour Down Under after rupturing one of his tezzes. In a post over on his Instagram, he said, almost two weeks ago, I had a small crash in training. I wish I could say I was doing something gnarly, but no, just on a bike path. Nothing broken, but since someone is going to ask what I did anyway, I ruptured a testicle. Ugh. Yep, fellas, it's just as painful as you think it is sweaty laughing emoji oh god it makes me wince just thinking about it i think mine have themselves into my chest cavity here sticking with team somewhere now and Ado mass the young 19 year old that suffered those horrific injuries at the piccolo lombardia back in october which left him without any feeling sensation or movement in his legs has taken his first steps with a free bionics free walk exoskeleton and in this short video here you can see with the help of two ladies that he's taking his first few steps with these bionic legs. Now it's still unlikely that Ado Mass will ever walk again unaided, but to be able to take a, a couple of steps with these bionic legs must just feel like a, a huge achievement after the horrendous few months that this young man's had. It's, you can't really put a positive spin on it. It's amazing that he's standing up and, and walking again, albeit aided with these bionic legs. But for a young man, just reaching his prime, being one of the, the world's best cyclists, being on a team like Team Sunweb. It must just be, it must be difficult for him mentally to, to, to go through all that. Um, I just hope he gets, I'm sure he will, like get all the help he can to try and make as much of a recovery as he can. But not only physically, but also mentally, because that must, that must play some serious games on your mind going from what looks like a, a a lucrative career in a sport that he loves to to never walking again it's all right and that's it for today now depending how long this video is this might be sped up or slow down to ensure that i reach the 10 minute mark that will enable me to add one more ad into this to make a tiny little more revenue. I hope you don't mind that there's an additional advert in here. But man's got to make bread in it. Thanks for watching everybody. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button or PC Pritch might be coming to your door and arresting you with his large baton and his taser gun. Until, oh, don't forget, I'm streaming Cade tonight. If you want to get involved in the chat, hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hush. Hello everybody. My wife is looking at me like I am an absolute penis, which I am.